Hello, Jarvis Gaming. Welcome back to Super Smash Bros. Melee. Now, showing off a new character this time. Who's going to be? Well, there was a terrible game known as Zelda's Adventures, so let's be Princess Zelda. <laughs> but no, the reason is for this is one, we've seen quite a bit of classic mode lately, and not enough of adventure mode. Even though last time was the master of unlocking. And when I said something I did as a mistake, it's Zelda. Because getting her trophy for completing mode also gets you uh, another character's trophy. I'll be showing off who they are right away. And I was under the impression that you would get them separately in this game. But no, that's how it is in Super Smash Bros. Brawl. Whoa! <laughs> that's what up tilt. Oh, that's right, C stick, don't do that. Her moves don't seem to go very far. But we have that strong looking forward air. Actually, she has these flashes of life on all of her aerials. Except, of course, uh, up air. That's just a big explosion, which is great. <laughs> Now's the time to actually do something with that. No. Oh boy. So I'll show off her specials. Snare's love, it's a bit defensive. Yeah, take that. Shock to the face. But I can also reflect projectiles while it's spinning. But of course the real power of Zelda is when she transforms. Ow, not like that. Into Sheik. You know, because of course she's based on Ocarina of Time. The most recent incarnation of Zelda. At the time this was made. What? Well, that's not true though. Okay, that's really throwing me off. There we go. And everything she does is fast and can hit hard. And doesn't have much recovery either. In short, Sheik is all powerful compared to Zelda. And you don't switch forms when you go in between stages. Wait, what? Let me just see that down there again. Oh, I'm thinking of the future games where Sheik's down there will actually send her straight down. There we go. I mean, that up smash where she just hits down the sides is great. But next time, we'll show all of uh, Zelda's other moves. Once the stage loads, the side special is Din's Fire. That is amazing. <laughs> I'm not sure whether or not I got the Link Master thing. Which is where you defeat all the Links. It would be fitting for this, but I'm actually trying to beat Adventure Mode a little quickly in order to get a trophy we haven't seen yet. Is it here? So stopping for all the Links would take up some extra time. Time you don't need to pass. Alright, let's see if I can jump over. Because it's not until you hit near the sword on the ground that you'll begin to transfer into battle. Well, that was awful. <laughs> no, it's not. I think there's one more up this way. Triforce, yes! 
So we've been all to one. I mean, to all but one. And of course, this is so special. Just for his wind. Oh, I tried using the C stick again. I wonder if it has a soft mod for this game where you can use the C stick in single player. Now, of course, it, unlike future games, you can't charge a smash. And whoa, she's being much more confident than I thought she would. Come on, you quit that. How are you doing this much damage to me? Come on, take... Screw it, I'm switching to Sheik and using my fast abilities to... Well, defeat you quickly. Oh, come on. I said, come on. There you go. Look at that. And who will we be when we switch out? Only Samus knows the answer. No, I played this a lot in multiplayer during my high school days, and I'd say I was one of the top three or four players. But one person who would beat me rather consistently always used Sheik. And I can see why, too. Now you quit that. Ah, I jumped right into that one, too. There we go. Come on, Samus. No, you don't. Get in that lava. Acid. Whatever it is. And do the ninja pose. Ho ho ho. At least so far we still have only one death. But another advantage of Sheik is much greater mobility. Well, you expect that if you can move faster. But just look how much farther she jumps than Zelda does. And there we go. <laughs> Don't know why I was struggling to make that jump. There we go. And with Planet Zephyrs exploding, we go back to Green Greens. I haven't really shut off Sheik's other moves. The side B is just using that whip. And the neutral, it's not really a safe place to show it off. Alright, you can charge it up till Sheik flashes. It didn't really show off, but it's tossing a bunch of needles. That can stun, but do little damage. It looks like she's gonna just punch right into the ground right there. Instead of transform. Hey look, there's Kirby me. As who I really am, at least. Now on the opposite side of the screen as how the video showed. And there's the other part of me. Ow. I said ow. Yeah, these curries are much more confident than I remember. I've been playing a little too much on easy. Whoa, what? An exploding barrel right in my face? The Kirby's must die for this. Come on, Bowser Kirby, you're dead. That was much more difficult than it should have been. And since that fight didn't go so well, we get to skip Giant Kirby. So that's a relief. 
But now that we have a single battle on the ground, we can really just show off how powerful Sheik is. No. Oh wow, you just barely made that grab. Again, this ain't the future game, so try doing the down the side taunts. I think I've shown off these other battles of the Star Fox team. I'm pretty sure, but yeah, we're fighting Falco now. And I'm being Zelda for this, because I'm pretty sure neighbors love Ken. How was I keep getting hit by that? Can reflect the Arwing Blast. I know it can reflect his lasers, despite the fact they do zero stun. Wait, what did he block my smash attack with? Did he use his smash or was that a down tilt? I didn't have to reflect. He just destroyed him for me. I am also okay with this. Because having the heavierness of Zelda it makes it a bit easier to, well, not be KO'd. Which is useful in a situation like this. And what did I get hit by? That let me get hit repeatedly. There we go. Doing better now that these Pokemon can't fight back. I'm not gonna try and be fancy with, with that. I I think this outfit is building it too much with the screen elements. Cause I keep thinking I'm the one getting launched here. Oh no, not you wheezing. Let the stun get me out, let the stun get me out. There we go. Not the stun, but the knockback get me out of range. Wait, what? <laughs> Did they just triple bounce me all around? Trying to wamble combo me? I may not succeed in what I'm trying to do here. Oh yeah, we definitely have to transform when we get to the first safe space. Eh, maybe the second. Yeah, the second. There we go, now we can dash and really make progress. Run, Sheik, run! Alright, next pink spot we gotta stop. By the way, I am recording this episode on my birthday. Happy birthday to me. It's probably the only thing I get to record today. Yeah, I'm just gonna play it safe and let them go by. And a mad dash to the end. We will succeed. Ooh, a trophy. That wasn't so bad. That was actually pretty good. Whoa! Computers doing random graphs are normal. They're more competent at this level than I recall them being. <laughs> I'm glad I was exploding barrel. I'm not glad that was a tiny shroom. But still screwing up Falcon's. I saw myself bounce, what happened? Oh great, I got one stock left. This ain't good. Still have basically the last third of this place you left. I hope I don't have to continue. Come on, little Nessus, come on. No, ah, see it, come on. No, of course that wouldn't work. 
What was that? You just keep narrowly avoiding death. Just let me get the finishing blow on you already, kid. Seriously. Like, facing all this damage just trying to finish this one off. Like, how many times has this been? Just get KO'd already. Jeez. Finally. I'm being Zelda again for the extra defense. Come on, come down so I can destroy you. No, you're not doing that. You're not doing that. Woo, that was a greatly timed shot. You finished. And not a moment too soon either. Oh, it is. Ice climbers may be a bit of an issue though. I'm being she because I can get up quicker. She's gonna be a big help when things start speeding up. So jump, she jump, jump. And I said jump. Alright. Oh, and a Pokeball is going to help at the end of the stage. Just got to make it up there. Yeah, I don't care about you polar bear with stuff and sunglasses. What? You dare knock the item out of my hands? Now, and how did I not get hit by that? <laughs> Alright, here we go. Oh, that is awful. That just ain't right. This is not the stage for an enemy to, to come out invincible right from the get-go. What the- Continue. Yes. I'm mad that happened. Because now this is the second time I try- I have to show him something that I can't show on adventure mode. RNG is not on my side today. <laughs> it's still a good birthday though. Okay, that one mentioned what that cannot talk. That one went much faster, much easier, much more not screw me over ish. I mean seriously, who has a star spawn right when the enemy does in the same spot? That is messed up. Especially when you have to deal with those awkward platforms. You're already high up in damage because it's friggin' Arctic enemies. I guess it's in the Arctic or something. Hit you ran. Alright, this is a twice that's happened. Like, I just got sandwiched in between two enemies and bounced back and forth. And I was hit by my own attack that I sent downwards. You know, not supposed to be super easy because this is normal. But still, this is ridiculous. Punching bag is right, that's why I'm being treated as. <laughs> oh, at least I got all my lives here, so. No, let me change. There we go. And I was rolling. There we go. It's kind of like Palutena's teleport. Now that I think about it. And you're not even going to attempt to show the animation for my grab? Okay, thanks.
Oh, at times like this, I wish I had rage. Screw it. Gonna use a Pokeball and finish you off in style. Full of charge smash if I. What? No. You ain't doing this to me, Mario. Yeah, you take the full KO just from a back throw. Alright, final destination. I'm not pleased to meet you in this way, but I'll take it nonetheless. What are you doing randomly air dodging? Get out of here. Just get out. Come on, get back here. Man, you're resilient. And you're finished. I sweet spot that kick. He was gone before I even get back to the stage. Show your stuff, Zelda. Show your stuff. You deserve that. Wait, what? 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 Okay, I did not see this coming. This is Giga Bowser. Well, this is what I want to show off when I played with Marth, but I messed up. To get this, you're supposed to be on normal mode or higher in adventure mode. And reach Giga Bowser in less than 18 minutes without continuing. But I used to continue. So how am I still seeing him? This is a first. Thing is, Giga Bowser, he is giant. He does not take much knockback. Even a high percentage from even your strongest attacks. Until you really rack him up. So getting those sweet spots there on Zelda's arrows are really good. Oh, I almost got him. Uh, don't zoom in on me now. I need just one well-timed hit. And he's finished. Screw it, how you do that, Sheik. Because Sheik has all that knockback in all of her moves. You know, like... Gigabout's attacks can freeze you, some of them. I think his down smash can do it to you. Look at Giga Bowser KO, that's what we're talking about. And he, he doesn't even get a trophy, he just shatters. Let's go, Sheik. As everyone we've used so far. Oh, you'll be hearing much more of the Zelda theme here. Trust me. Please trust me a lot in this. I know what I'm saying. I'll just get a few hits. Oh, that's a nice shot. And when you clear a classic and adventure mode with at least 10 characters, Zelda counts as 2, so you can do it with 9. You meet this guy, Young Link. Little boy Link from Zelda. Even more based on his Ocarina of Time. Cause you got Sar Saria's theme, and well, hit all his voice clips. There we go, Zelda, Sheik. It's more like it, and we click Kick a Bowser for the first time. Very nice. Right. And we're gonna end off here. Next time, we might show off a character, or we might do something a little more eventful. You'll find out then. But until then, this is Jargus Gaming. Thanks for watching. I have to go to work. I'll see you next time. Until then, everybody.